Hey, this is a tutorial for how to use the Gimma plugin spotting players. This is ideal for developers wanting to give NPCs in their game a line of sight, and this can be especially useful for stealth sections in games. In this basic example, when a player is spotted by an NPC, the NPC catches the player and the player then starts at the beginning of the map. To do this, we first need two things. We need the Gimma core plugin, and we need the Gimmer Spotting Players plugin. Both of these are linked in the description below. The Gimmer Core plugin must be above the Spotting Players plugin in order for this to work. Um, and with both of these plugins now active and on, we are ready to go and get started. So in this example, I've built a simple map with three NPCs, each with their own custom route. Some kind of movement route is required for this plugin to work. Um, so for example, this NPC in the bottom left, he has a little route which moves him up four tiles, turns right, waits, and then moves down and repeats. So the first thing we have to do is we need to create a common event. So click on settings and we need to create our first common event and you can call it whatever you want. I just called it spotted because that seemed to make sense. And it's going to take three properties inside the contents box. The first one we're just playing a simple sound effect to let the player know they've actually been caught. Then we have a show balloon icon. And then the third one is where we need to transfer our player after they've been spotted. So in here, go to event commands, select transfer player, click designation with variables, click the first box for ID, create a new variable. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it map ID. Then in the Xbox, click and then we'll call it in number two, player X. And then the Y box, click number three. It can be any variable you want. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm just going to call it player Y because it makes the most sense. And then I'm going to say for direction left so that the player is always facing left whenever they fail and go back to the beginning and then we'll click OK. Click apply and then OK once more and now we need to set the plugin parameters. So to do this we have to go back into the plugin manager, double click on give us spotting players and now turn our attention to the parameter section. Double click in the common event value and set that to the common event we just created. In our case it was called spotted. Hit OK and then in the map ID variable we need to select the map ID that we created and we're going to have to do the same for the starting X which is going to be player X and then same with the starting Y. Now leave the solid ball region ID as one for now as a default and we'll talk about the other one shortly. Click apply and then OK and we're almost done to start testing to see if it works but now we need to do one more thing which is to tell each of these NPCs how much of a line of sight they really have and the way we do this is by double clicking on any event and we need to give it a note tag and the note tag is can and then spot with a capital S and then player with a capital P and then a colon and then we take four values and the values in order are top, right, bottom, and left. So we're going to say that this NPC can see three in front of him, three to the right, uh, three down, and three to the left. Hit apply and then OK. And then in this NPC, we'll do can spot player, colon. And we'll do four up, none to the right, four down, and then zero to the left. Apply OK. And then for the final NPC, can spot player, we'll do uh, she can only see to the left, and it will be three tiles to the left. And then we'll click Apply OK. And now we can test our game and see how it's looking. So if we move in front of this NPC, you see that they detect you and send you back exactly where you were, and we've retained that left-facing position. 
that won't work too. And there we go. So this is working and that's great. Now, let's see. What if we actually created an extra uh, set of trees here? Uh, so let's do that. And what if we were to stand on this tile? Would the M this NPC still be able to see us? So we'll save that and click yes. We'll wait for this NPC to pass. We'll stand here again. And sure enough, he can still see us and we might not want that. And that's where the region ID comes in handy. So back into the plugin parameters for spotting players, we can see this solid wall region ID is set to one. You can set that to any value you wish, but I'm just gonna keep it as one for this example. But it means that you can then highlight the region tab in your editor click on one, paint over wherever you want a solid wall to be, where the NPC cannot see through. And that is all you should need to do. If we then hit play, and we'll go back to that original spot. You'll see the NPC can no longer see us. Finally, Whenever the NPC spots you, an exclamation bubble appears above their head. If you don't want that to happen and you rather the exclamation bubble appeared above the player's head, you can toggle this inside Track Spotter for Balloons. And that's it. If you have any questions about the plugin, then please leave them in the comments below. Thanks.